First of all, you have to buy tickets to City Terminal. Take the ticket from here. <laughs> We've paid 15 euros for one way, but I put the link in the description with ticket prices if you're interested. The journey takes 80 minutes, and I can guarantee you the landscape will catch your eye. Every single minute, I'll be your hero. So, guten Morgen from Stockholm, Sweden. <laughs> We just, uh, we just wake up and let's take the breakfast and we are going to explore the city. Um, so far, Stockholm has totally impressed me because from uh, our transfer from the airport to the city terminal, it has such great landscapes and rural views like we've never seen before, right? Yeah, we don't <laughs> see that on the daily basis. So, Stockholm has totally impressed me. <laughs> we never sleep, we never tire when you are with me, with me. Stockholm has a really complex system of railway network, but it's very easy to get wherever you want to. More details about Stockholm card on the next video. Uh, we are going to the Centralen. Uh, this part of the city. We decided that our first stop will be the Royal Palace with its museums and hopefully we'll get to see the changing guards. When the lights go out, away with me. An interesting fact is that the Royal Palace was built in 1754 by Nicholas Tessin. So we are in the center of the Royal Palace. We are going to explore. There are a variety of museums that you can visit here, such as these ones. We were lucky to see it because the palace is closed when dignities are hosted. The royal chapel was burned down and it was an intensive work for the architect to rebuild it after the fire. Next to the Royal Chapel is the Hall of State with Queen Christina's silver throne. The entrance is free if you like to see it. An interesting fact is that this text represents Johann Bernador, who was one of the most uh, important general from Napoleon's army, and he founded the actual royal family. I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired. We found out that in Gamla Stan lived the first female teacher, so we went to see the place. The church is situated in the center of a neighborhood that in the Middle Ages was dominated by Germans. An interesting fact is that here the liturgy is held in German language and only a month in Swedish. Someone told us that the Queen Christina was held in this little home because she was Catholic. But we came across this young lady and we were speechless of how talented she is, right? Look, mom, I've recreated a photo <laughs> on that exact street. We are so happy because we managed to see the changing cards ceremony. So here it is. It takes place uh, every day at the Royal Palace at 12 o'clock. So if you want to see it, go for it. 
Don't be scared, it's just the oldest cafe in Stockholm, right in Gamlastan. After we enjoy the cup of coffee and the most traditional desert uh, from Sweden, which which is called Canel Bular, Canel yeah. Bular. <laughs> uh, from, from the oldest cafe from 13th century, right over here. And it's located right here on Ankar Drand. It's right there. The thing with this telephone booth is that back in time, people used to communicate with each other only by using these telephone boxes. We are going to... And, and we arrived to, to Riddarholm's church. church. After the protestant... And after the protest... So, a quick fact, Riddarholm's church is the burial church of the Swedish monarchs. And after the protestant reformation, the monastery was closed and transformed into a protestant one. And right next to the church is a statue with uh, the founder of the Stockholm city. This is the statue. We even enjoy a bit of music in the street. For the train. Oh. And, we and we arrived to, to the city, city hall. hall. So we just buy tickets to the city hall tower to admire a great view over Stockholm. And we've made a great friend. <laughs> uh, they are all nice people, and I think Stockholm's best known for the nicest people. Yeah. You can take away my love you And from the city hall you can have a great view over the Southern Malm Island So we bought a ticket tour the city hall. Into the city hall And it is amazing so far This blue hall, which is not actually blue Is known as the location of the annual Nobel Banquet The Golden Hall is made entirely from gold mosaic. The main attraction is the Queen of the Lake Melaren that has on her left side the Orient and on her right side the Eastern world. That way it's said that the Queen represents Sweden which is right in the center of the world. So this is the Gustav Vasa who freed the Swedish people from the Danish people. And we managed. And we managed. To, we managed to go up to the city hall tower, and this is our view. It's totally worth it. Up from the city hall, you can also admire the beautiful view over these 14 islands. Impressive. But your shadow's all I see now, your ghost has got my heart in chains. Now you just take away my love, you just take away... A quick tip! Yeah, after we uh, visit the city hall with its tower and rooms, we came across the lake... Uh, Melaren, Melaren, to Södermalm to Island, to enjoy this to, panorama. To enjoy this panorama, and it's the best thing to do after... You visit the city hall. <laughs> so, as we said, we are here. You can come across city hall, which is here, to Södermalm Island, and enjoy the view from the other side. I have a thing with panoramas and that's why we take one station from Skanstull until Medborgarplatzten to enjoy the view over Tivoli Gardens and Djurgarden uh, Island where it hosts all these important museums. And if you want to go back to the city center in Gamlastan you can take this bus. 
And now uh, we are going to end the vlog because my camera is running out of battery and uh, we are enjoying a meal with burgers and french fries in uh, the old town Gamgastan. So thank you for watching and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. So thank you very much, we'll see you tomorrow to the next day, second day in Stockholm. Bye!